What's up guys, it's O2, and today I have my deck profile from my last week's episode of Friday Night Card Fight. This is my Origin Mage Odana Shadow Paladin deck. So starting off, your starting Vanguard is going to be full bow, not many options there. He's a ride chain, so you ride Javelin over him and you get to immediately search your deck for a Blaster, blaster Dark and put it into your hand. So as most people know, that just secures your grade 2 and it gets you a plus one card advantage. Well, it pretty much evens out because you don't get to pull out full bow, but yeah. And then, of course, my main vanguard is going to be Ildana. So his limit break is limit break four, counter blast two, and retire two rear guards. <clears throat> and then you get to draw two cards, and he also gets plus 3,000. And then he also gets 3,000 when attacking the vanguard normally. So with the Karen behind him, he attacks for 24, with limit break or just 21 without it. So really good numbers, really good against cross rides. The biggest weakness is his 10k body, so he gets um you know, he gets bullied around by 12k attackers. <clears throat> so the whole point of this deck is being able to make just free rear guards with my unit skills or be able to just draw cards and then continually draw extra cards with Ildana so that I can just outlast my opponent because the rear guard columns in this deck aren't extremely powerful like the most you're gonna hit is like um, <clears throat> 18 if you have a 10k vanilla and your AK booster but other than that it's gonna be hitting 16 and, and then of course you got the main who's super weak but anyway so <clears throat> four Ildanas, two Bobbities, or Dark Mage. Anyway, I call her Bobbity because it's fun to say and the spelling on that card is insane. So anyway, when you play this card, you can top deck any card and play it onto a rear guard circle. So this card synergizes very well with him when he has to retire two, guard, two rear guards for his limit break. So this gets me a free card. I play as my last grade 3, I play one Phantom Blaster Dragon. The only reason I'm playing this card is so that I can use Javelin's grade 1 ability. When he gets played in the rear guard, I can discard extra grade 3s uh, just to filter this out of my deck. It thins my deck out of grade 3s as well. So if I have, like, in my starting hand, if I have two Ildanas and I have an extra Javelin to play in the rear guard, I can pitch one of the Ildanas to thin my deck of this Phantom Blaster Dragon. Or another option is if I have... Bobbity has my only grade 3 in my hand, and I have an extra Javelin, then I can play the Javelin, pitch this, and then get a stronger Vanguard. Most likely I'm not going to use Phantom Blaster Dragon's skill, but if I have Blaster Dark then it sets me up for a nice defense with as an 11k body until I can draw into my uh, Ildana. Grade 2's playing 11, so playing 2 Blaster Darks uh, the reason I play two is because, and not just one, is because there's always that chance that you draw him in your starting hand or if you mulligan him. You know, there's always that chance that you'll draw into him, and then when you play Javelin, you have no target. So it kind of just wastes your advantage right there. So I play two just to be safe in case he gets damage checked or anything like that. Um, but yeah, otherwise he's just a vanilla card in the rear guard circle. Three... 10k vanilla grade twos. Um, just playing one Rugos and two, what's his name, Dordana, just for solid bodies. Like I said, the rear guard options in this uh, deck aren't the best. Playing three in the mains, this card is really sweet. You counter blast for only one when it gets played into the rear guard circle, and you discard a card to draw two cards. So you can discard like extra draw triggers, duplicates of grade threes just to um, get two more cards into your hand, either like better your options and rear guards to play, or just extra cards to defend with. So like I said, the whole deck is just card advantage in your hand so you can defend against your opponent until they, uh, they run out of cards and then you can just eventually outlast them. Three Curse Lancers. Um, so with Nemain, she's only a counter blast one. So if you can like play in the main and then be able to get a Curse Lancer off even once or twice during the game, you know, it just like helps you out so much more with Ildana's Counter Blast since he has Counter Blast 2, so it's pretty heavy. So, or if you don't use the main at all, 
and you're able to counter unflip one damage after you use Adonis skill, you can use them three times in one match, and that's without heals. So if you're able to do that, that's like six extra cards that you can draw from his skill. <clears throat> uh, grade one, so four javelins, of course. You always want to hope you open up with him in your hand. And like if you have at least a javelin but no grade threes, you can mulligan four cards from your hand because this is a guaranteed grade two. And then you have four chances to get a grade three into your hand. Uh, 8Ks, four of them. Got to play them. Helps you out with rear guard you know, hitting numbers. So with Curse Lancer, hit 17 at least. 18 for cross rides. Four perfect guards. So I like to play four because this, this deck is not hitting strong, like I said again. You know, you just want to be able to outlast your opponent. So with these, you know, you always have extra cards to use as fodder. And then the Guru Bell, he's always a nice option. Like, it's a 9k attacker. And a lot of times when you play like Bobbity or uh, you just don't have any good attackers, he's always a 9k option. And even though you don't have the intercept skill with him, you can use him to attack and then retire him for Ildana. So he serves this purpose to attack your uh, opponent's vanguard or the yeah, opponent's vanguard and then you can just get rid of him and hopefully set up a better column the next turn. And then one Aryan Rod, like in case uh, you don't get your Javelin first turn or just you don't have a good hand or you don't have a grade three, it's always good to have that option of just playing her. And then a trigger lineup, so no stands in this deck, stands will not work because you always want to attack or uh, when you attack with your rear guards first and then limit break with Ildana, you're going to retire that row. And you're never going to attack with Ildana last. So stands just aren't an option in this deck. So eight crit, four draws. Uh, the draws just help you just maintain that hand advantage. And the crits is just for the extra power. You know, you want to kill them right away because you don't have like super awesome rear guard columns. And then four heals, of course. So yeah, this is the deck uh, that I used last week, and in the next card fight Vanguard, or Friday night card fight, you'll see this deck again in action one more time against the brand new deck. Uh, if you have any questions about the deck or any um, criticisms or whatever, feel free to leave them down below. I'll try to answer as best as I can. Or um, if you have any questions about the combos of the deck that I may have missed, again, just comment down below. So just a uh, Side note, like I really like this deck. It's just like playing, uh, was it Scarlet Witch Coco? It's almost like better. Like I play uh, using this deck against other Coco decks, and it's just like, you know, I can just maintain hand advantage just as much as the Coco deck. And then with Ildana's skill, like it's good against cross rides. Uh, it just really sets up that pressure column with your Vanguard, and they're always forced to perfect guard against him or you know, drop like two 10k shields for a two to pass. So, um, oh, I'm playing three in the mains. This might be, uh, in some people's eyes, might be too much, but I'm, ho I'm always hoping to have a javelin in my hand so I can have Blaster Dark as my main vanguard so I won't have a problem with riding her as my main vanguard. And if she's my only grade two in my hand, I'm most likely gonna mulligan her, like, <clears throat> even if I don't have another grade two, just so I can Hope to draw a different grade too. And I think that is about it for this deck. Alright, so thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for Friday night's card fight, which you'll see this deck. And uh, thanks for watching.